Multiple sclerosis is a chronic autoimmune disease that impacts the central nervous system. And here in Canada, we actually have one of the highest rates of diagnosis in the world, with approximately 90,000 Canadians living with the disease. Now, later on this month, the MS community, along with, of course, their friends and loved ones, their supporters, they will be taking part in walks right across the country, all in an effort to raise both donations and awareness of this often heartbreaking disease. So joining me here in studio this morning to tell us more about it is Candace Colwell, MS Ambassador and Halifax MS Walk participant. Good morning, Candace. Thanks Hi. so much for being here. Thanks so much for having me. Of course, of course. Listen, it's uh, I'm really excited. I'm going to be emceeing the event on the 28th of May. So let's get a little Great. tea up going on for, uh, for what folks can expect. But before we get to that, you yourself live with MS. I do. You were diagnosed at 22 years yes. old. Tell me about what your experience has been like so far. Uh, there has been a lot of ups and downs. Okay. I guess uh, most people with MS would say that. Um, when I was initially diagnosed, I wasn't really having any symptoms. And that is generally rare. Like it's usually people have like a big um, relapse of the first symptoms they're having. They end up in the hospital or on medication right away. I really had nothing like specific going on. Um, it started, mine started with my right eye would go blurry just randomly at different times on and off. So I went through the process of the eye doctor to the eye specialist and eventually ended up at a neurologist. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So that was the process. And, and like you say, that's, that's not common either as well too. Did, did you kind of have an indication? Did you think this maybe is MS or were you thinking something completely different at the time? I really had no idea. I just thought there was something, yeah. it was an eye thing. Like I thought there was something wrong with my eyes. Like I've worn glasses for most of my life. So I was like, I have something wrong with my eye. Yeah. So fast forward, that mm -hmm. was when you were 22. Mm -hmm. Is that a common age as well too for, for folks to be diagnosed? Most or? people are diagnosed between 20 and 40. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you fit, fit in there. I fit in, yes. Yeah. So now, mm -hmm. it's been a few years since then. Mm -hmm. How are you doing now? I'm doing all right now. Unfortunately, due to MS, I'm unable to work. Um, chronic fatigue is my main symptom that I deal with. Um, I've had times when I my right leg hasn't been working properly. Um, I have any disability that I'm going to have with related to MS happens on my right side. Interesting. Um, and that is because any lesions that I have due to MS are on the left side of my brain. Okay, and yes, and it... It so it like crosses over. Um, so I have had periods where I could not use my right leg. I could not use my right arm. Um, and these are very unexpected. There's really no rhyme or reason for it to happen other than I have MS. Yeah. Which is why, you know, it's, it's so important. We're so thankful to you for coming in and sharing your story and talking mm -hmm. about this. You've been volunteering with MS Canada for, for quite some time now, but yes. you just recently were named an MS ambassador, the very first here in Atlantic Canada. Yes, I was. Tell me about that. Um, well, I like that I now have a title because yeah. I previously I was still a volunteer, but it's nice now to be like, I'm an MS ambassador. I do all of the same things. Um, I'm basically a volunteer leader Great. and have been for a number of years. I believe I've been doing the walk for 15 years. Wow. wow. Yeah, so it's, things have definitely changed since the start. And of course, during the pandemic, it went fully virtual. Um, this is the second year back in person. Um, and people are still doing virtual as well. Okay, good. Yeah. Good to know that that is still Yeah, it's an still an option. Okay. Okay, let's walk through the logistics. Folks okay. can still register. So the walk is on the 28th of May. Yes. It's a Sunday. When do, you, when do things get started? I believe the walk is starting at 3 p.m. Okay. And it is at Acadia Park in Sackville. Um, I think the registration starts at 2. So if you're there early, you can register. Okay. And to sign up for the walk, uh, you can do that right up until the day. Nice. Okay. Yes. And I believe it's $150. Donations are encouraged, of course. Yes. And so $150 to, to register, that's kind of the number that they're hoping that you can... Right. You're obviously welcome to go above and beyond that, yes. of course. Yes. Um, if folks are not able to take part in the walk, they can still donate, though, right? They can still definitely donate. And if they do want to come out and they're not actually participating in the walk, they can cheer on the walkers. Nice. 
Nice. Which is always nice to have a little audience and someone cheering you on. So nice. that's great. Nice. Who from uh, from your support group is going to be there to cheer you on? Uh, most of my family um, participates oh, in nice. it every year. They've been there all along. I have some friends as well nice. that have been along for the entire time as well. So it's nice. There's usually a decent group size. Nice. Yeah. And we've only got about 10 seconds left. Sure. So donations. When folks donate, where do those funds actually go? How do they help? Uh, the funds from the MS Walk go to support and services for people like myself who live with MS as well as to research um, to help find a cure for MS if that's if that's in the cards but at least it helps to go towards research okay, to find that. So important, so important. So Sunday, the May 28th, 3 p.m., 2 p.m., if you're getting there to, uh, to register nice and early. I will see you there. Miss Candace will see you there as That's well. That's right. For such an important cause. Come on out. Thank you so much for coming Great. out today. Thank to, you uh, so to much for having me. me.